is a European country, home to 4.78 million people. It is the number one importer of beef in the European Union. Ireland's current unemployment rate is 10%, and according to the Central Statistics Office, 8% of the population is living in poverty, and about a third of its population is lacking two or more basic life essentials, such as heat or water. These are just some of the challenges that Ireland faces. Obesity and malnutrition are still issues that Ireland has to worry about for future generations. The structure of Ireland's government is fundamentally regulated by the Constitution of Ireland and is headed by a Prime Minister. In addition to their own government, Ireland is also a member of the European Union, which includes many regulations and restrictions in regards to animal welfare and production. This is something that must be taken into consideration when improving the sustainability of Ireland's cattle production. With high production rates, sustainable agriculture must be used for a more efficient production system. We define sustainable agriculture as the practice of balancing social, environmental, and economic concerns in regards to the preservation of resources over a long term. Preserving natural resources and minimizing negative effects on the environment is important because of the various agricultural practices Ireland utilizes. Although it is home to a mixture of both livestock and arable land farming, livestock farming dominates Irish agriculture. In Europe, products from livestock farming account for four-fifths of the total agricultural output. Much of the success seen from pastoral farming in Ireland is due to the country's climate. The moist and mild climate is optimal for the growth of grasses used for grazing. While arable land does exist in Ireland, it is viewed as being supplementary to land used for livestock farming. Approximately 15.2% of the land used in Ireland is considered arable. Some of the crops that are produced from this arable land include oats, wheat, barley, beans, and peas. These crops are some of the few that are able to efficiently grow in a mild climate. Both barley and oats, for example, have difficulty growing in hot climates and therefore prefer a cooler, more mild climate. These crops are able to grow well at different times of the year, as Ireland experiences all four seasons. Ireland's pastoral farming system focuses on the production of beef cattle, dairy cattle, pigs, poultry, sheep, and veal. Due to the fact that during the Pleistocene epoch, much of the country was covered in ice, most of the soil and bedrock underneath the land is covered by glacial deposits. Still, soil in Ireland is considered to be fairly nutritious, with the exception of vulnerable peat areas that have endured a harsh external pressure. The presence of minerals, organic matter, and microorganisms in the healthy, moist soil allows for the growth of grasses used for grazing. Not only is a mild temperature optimal for the growth of pasture grasses, it is also the climate preferred by some of the livestock animals produced in Ireland. For instance, sheep, poultry, and cattle are most efficient when living in a cooler climate range. Reproductive efficiency has been shown to improve in ewes when the temperature is at or near 44.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Poultry has been shown to have the most efficient feed conversion between 69.8 and 75.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Cattle has also been shown to prefer cooler climates, as the average daily gain is highest when living in a temperature below 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Although Ireland contains all four meteorological seasons, the warmest average temperature is typically between 64 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit. This climate is partly responsible for the success of the livestock production in Ireland. Beef and dairy are Ireland's two biggest exports. Ireland exports 80% of their beef and 90% of their dairy products. Ireland is the European Union's biggest producer of beef and dairy products. The production of cattle in Ireland includes both that of beef and dairy industries. Beef production takes place on 100,000 farms, most of which are on a moderately small scale, but are considered to be very productive. Many of the beef cattle in Ireland are raised on grass pastures. 
Ireland makes use of beef suckler cow herds in which a cow calves once per year. These offsprings are kept in the pasture with their mothers and reared on their mother's milk until being weaned. Angus, Hereford, Limousin, and Charolais are popular cow breeds that are typically mated to Charolais, Limousin, or Belgian Blue Bulls. The newly established Animal Bioscience Center has recruited top scientists to aid in this ever-changing field of cattle production. As for dairy production in Ireland, around 18,000 farms today participate in this field. Since 1975 to 1985, milk production in Ireland increased by 5.7% per year. This was associated with a 49% increase in milk yield per cow and a 11% increase in cow numbers. On the other hand, there was a 47% decrease in the number of dairy farms throughout Ireland. When comparing today's dairy production in Ireland to past years, what used to be around 140,000 farms in 1975 has overall descended to that of 18,000. This has had an effect on the production of dairy and the need to recognize more sustainable methods in order to continually produce an efficient output from their dairy cows. With Ireland being one of the largest cow producers in the world, it is very important that this production is sustainable for the future. Without this production of cattle, the European Union would have to find another source of meat and dairy. One way to increase the sustainability of Ireland's cattle production system would be to increase the output of animal products produced per unit of pasture. There are various methods that will aid in this process, increasing the stocking rate from Ireland's average of 1.9 cows per hectare to 2.5 cows per hectare will yield more animal products per hectare. The stocking rate in Ireland has been relatively low in the past considering the pastures are nearly ideal. More research is being conducted on grasses that will withstand the winter better and can extend the growing season. This will also help with sustainability. Another way to increase sustainability in Ireland is to reduce the reseeding of pastures. Research has shown that seeding pastures does not increase overall yield compared to well-established pastures. As long as weeds are managed correctly, the pasture will be producing at a very high rate. There has been some research about introducing legumes into the pasture to increase the feed value. Many of the legumes do not compete well with the natural grasses. Finding a way to solve this problem could help increase future sustainability. Adding trees and shrubs to certain areas will help prevent soil erosion as well. 70% of Irish cattle farmers rely on subsidies when they are producing cattle. This is a very big government expense that should not be there. About 90% of the income farmers receive from cattle comes from SMP or single farm payment for most cattle rearing operations. If farmers in Ireland did not receive subsidies, they would actually lose money raising cattle. The money that goes to the subsidies could be used more effectively to research better methods of raising cattle. Ireland needs to figure out a way for farmers to roost cattle without having uh, to rely on subsidies. Everything considered, Ireland's cattle production system is very important to the world. Ireland is the fifth largest producer of cattle in the world and is a very important beef exporter to the European Union. Ireland could improve their cattle production system to make it more sustainable for the future. They can do this by improving the stocking rates of pastures to produce more cattle per unit of pasture, better pasture practices to improve the overall health of animals and be sustainable in regards to the environment. Finally, the subsidy system is not economically feasible and should be fixed for the sake of future sustainability. These solutions could lead to the Irish cattle production system being more sustainable.